guns? What? Hold in bound. Hey, where'd you find a hunting rifle? That's my favorite gun. You're in trouble, Max. They're all over you, man. Corner up. In the open, they spawn around you. Anytime a horde comes, especially on higher levels, I always find the wall or a corner. Yeah, a hunting rifle's awesome. I used to use the AK, but hunting rifle's better. I think he's my shit. Does almost as much damage as a shotgun. Sorry. Sorry, snipe there. Go on and heal up, Zoe. And Molly. Grabbing a pipe bomb. Weapons here. Look over here. Explosive ammo. Over there. And you Ammo here. Weapons. Wow, they're being really cheap with the guns. Still no guns. Great shot. Thanks. Weapons. Here. One. Any. <laughs> okay. Boomer. Spitter. Coming your way. Reloaded. There's another Molly over here. Since I took yours. I got one. Ooh, I think I heard a tank. Yep, I hear a tank. He's right up in that room with the ammo. Let's go. You guys ready? He's trying to kill me. Spitter up top. He's in the hallway. I lit the room up, so he must be in the hallway. Yes, can up there with you. Got, oh. Got him lit. Sometimes there's pipe bombs in that hallway, Max. I don't know if you saw them. when you come out. Get in, Reloading! Weapons here! Safe 
house in the pawn shop. Safe house. Which? The front door. Probably the most challenging map is uh, Coldstream. Oh yeah, that Coldstream. That map is pretty much a gauntlet. Coldstream is tough. I the other day I finished Coldstream on Hard Eight, and boy, I was I was sweating. Everybody stop! So, uh, if you have a couple bile, the ending's not not really that hard. Easy, but two bile it can be done. On top of the tunnel, and it makes all the zombies stand in place. And at the beginning, I'll throw one up on the upper right side, and it makes all the zombies run the same direction you're going to go down the waterfall. Up there the whole time. Okay. Get stuck. That's a, that's one thing that's always bothered me that this game. That doesn't like alert the zombies, but the fact that we're gonna start up this this lift with that little alarm alerts the zombies. Yeah. Gas station blowing up. Nothing. Drop a nickel. You get swarmed. Hunter on me. Oh. Behind you, man, there's nailed. I'm coming back. And I got shit all over me. Damn it. Come on, you gotta Thanks. get up. In the hallway, he'll get that shit off of you. Yo. Thanks, man. 
Grab and peel. Oh. Reloading. I think I'm hurt bad. The coolest thing that I teach people is when there's hordes, get against the wall or in a corner and you won't get surrounded. Yeah. Otherwise, they spawn in a circle around you, and as fast as you can kill them, they just keep spawning on you, doing damage to you. Best game was an expert game where I only took nine damage. Really? Freeze the pack the whole game. attention and not running my mouth. Tank. Whoa, whoa! Don't shoot, it's me! The tank, he's hiding down there. That's a tank? Yeah, you hear him? Breathing. He's trying to be quiet, but I can hear him. You ready, guys? Oh, I hear him now. Okay, let me back up there. I bet. Sound speakers, it lets me pinpoint where specials and stuff are. And I use a thumb trackball mouse, which gives me fine aim. You can play with a trackball mouse? I don't know. I, I I could work with it, but I don't know about playing with it. Thank you. Nicely played, sir. Oh, I used to use a regular mouse for years, and then a friend of mine used a trackball. And he told told me to try it, and once I got adapted to it, it actually gives you better aim for first-person shooter games than the mouse you scoot around on your table. arm and you have complete control like uh, Battlefield 2 it gave me real good control of helicopters. I was trashing people with helicopters. I'm really I'm hurt guys. Hold on, let me patch you up. Thanks Max. Go on and heal. I just biled this side. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna heal you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Behind you! Oh, well, at least we got the I'm tank reloading. before we went in the sewer. I hate finding the tank in the sewer. I actually like trackball mouse better than the, the old style that you move around on the table. I got um, a Logitech, uh, what is it, hold on. Ammo here. You used to make a good five button one that the buttons were programmable, uh, but then they quit making them, so now the only ones out that you can find are made by, uh, I think, Logitech. Uh, the MX Master. Three more mice in my closet, and another keyboard in my closet. Brand new. MX Master uh, 2S. Quit making them. It's pretty good. It's very comfortable. Do what? I said the MX Master. Uh, like there's, guys there's guys that will pay 150 bucks, 200 bucks for a gaming mouse because it's got really sensitive controls on it and it basically does the same thing that a trackball mouse does. Yeah. Giving you better aim, more stability.
Yeah, but gaming is all more the gaming half the gaming products are all marketing. Reloading Spend that high money on that gaming crap, not game just fine. The keyboard and good mouse does help a little bit, but you don't have to buy a $200 mouse. Zombies out here. Lewis. This doesn't smell like a hospital. Above your head. He's coming in that the doorway. Wait. Oh shit. I was looking the other doorway. door where Max is, he just gets confused and goes both ways. into a room and shut the door. Weapons here. Little ninja, get away from me. There's an AK in here. Smoker in front of you. Get in the room. Hey, the weapons over here. We just gotta watch Come for on. the spit.
Charger straight up. Every time. Watch the spread, the bodies will catch fire. Reloading. Weapon, let's go. Kick ass. Well done, guys. Reloading. Elevator. Boomer, boomer. Take a med pack and make people fall through the floor. People still fall through the floor in the elevator. That's what I'm talking about. Damn straight. Hold on, let me patch you up. It doesn't work anymore. They fixed it, but well, maybe that that particular bug they fixed, but you still fall through the floor in the elevator. The idol. Let me patch you up. For some reason. It happens a lot to be Zoe. Spots you'll fall through. We need to find access to the roof. Fire off, boys. How bad? Oops, sorry. Be clear. Oh, I ran right into that. We're chasing you. Oh. Uh, XCOM games, Let's get the hell out of but here. they're a little That's repetitive. Me. But hold on, games next month coming out. I've been waiting on Metro Exodus and uh, Anthem. I'm actually curious to see the the, the Metro Exodus just to see how it's going to deal with the RTX. Ray tracing stuff that NVIDIA has been pushing. Gives you, uh, what, better reflective surfaces? And yeah, realistic light. I'm gonna see, uh, because they came out for Battlefield and it just, it like cut the performance in half. And then they came out with a patch that they said they made it better, but they just took all the ray tracing out of it. So, like, I just find it. Funny that these. Boomered? No, not that I know. Watch out. Had a horde on my face, and that doesn't usually happen up here. You have a lot of shit on your oh, face. Oh, I got right a jockey now. getting ready to nail me. That's some crazy zombie. Jockey. <laughs> Hunter. Boomered or something, because. I don't buy video cards very often because there's not a real jump in performance to make it worth spending that kind of money. 
Well, the 10 series was a jump. I had, I had a 780 uh, 6 gig card, and when I saw the performance on the 10, the 10 series, I wanted to get one. Mainly because, um, well, for obviously for my games, but one of the software I use for 3D, uh, Substance Painter, it, it uses a lot of VRAM, and the 10 series was a, a big jump. It was like a 40% jump. Okay. But uh, I'm actually really disappointed with the, the 20 series. You got a 30% jump, but you got a, like a 60% increase in price. I have a 980 Ti, and when I bought it, the only card out that was faster was the Titan. And they were basically the same cards, except the Titan had 12 gig RAM and the 980 has 6 gig. Yeah, that, that's, but, but the Titan is basically always uh, the big version of the of the uh, the TI and the TI is a, a slightly cut down version but I, I, I essentially the performance is the same between the Titan and whatever the TI card is the Titan right now the well, time the Titan card was 15 it was 1500 bucks yeah and I paid 750 for the 980 and Nvidia is losing their mind. You know how much the Titan so is now? I paid double the price for six extra gig of RAM. The Titan's supposed to be like a professional car that you can game on. That's that's. It's a professional card, so you could do use all the 3D software and the CAD and whatnot. But you could also game on it. Because if you have a Quadro card, uh, you they are not going to perform the best in games. And they're gonna cost you like four times the price of whatever TI card, but yeah. But uh, the the new TI right now is twenty five hundred dollars. It's an extra thousand dollars on what they are normally charge. Tell you, Nvidia they're smoking crack, bro. Some of, some of that though is uh, because of crypto mining. It drove prices up. But... They're saying it's because it's. The, the ray tracing and blah 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 but I'm like the ray tracing is not even it's they've it the cards have been out for almost six months and there's one game that supports it kind of which is battlefield like I, I used to uh, watch that smoker going up nice shot you see use SLI and then I bought a video card, and uh, NVIDIA accidentally double-charged me. I called them about it, and somehow they connected me to the guy who was the head of sales for the USA. And we had like an hour phone conversation, and he was telling me that unless you had larger than a 25-inch monitor, SLI does nothing for you visually because your eye cannot de detect it. SLI. Uh, he also if told me that video cards for uh, <coughs> NVIDIA's video cards are just a side job. Their primary source of what they do is optics. And they make the optics for satellites. And now they're really into uh, AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, they're they're big into the auto, all the uh, the self-driving car automotive stuff. They're using the video cards to do the, the video cards for that. You got a boomer on that ladder next to you, Max. Unless he already got you. Yeah, they're a big technical company. They do a lot of stuff. Contracts with the military, the government. Watch the charger. Did somebody grab my sword by accident? Might be a good time to heal Didn't know you even dropped one. Yeah, I dropped my sword. I'm 
Uh, oh, I got smoked. Uh, smoking. Come on, Jackie. Shot four times. You did. Hunter. The fire. Oh. Yeah, like, uh, I'll give another example. 4K TVs limit of what visually can be detected with the human eye. So why they're putting out 8Ks is just money grabbing. Yeah, but even 4K, there's no 4K source. There's, there's, there, like, in, I'm in Canada, and here in Canada we barely have, like, full 1080 on all the channels. There's still, there's still channels that are, sell, are like, broadcasting in 720. I just bought my first uh, 1080 TV set back in 2013. Other than that, I've never had a widescreen because there wasn't enough channels to make it worth buying it. I was using projection TVs. I just projection biled off the side. Yeah, have pretty good uh, picture. You guys might want to run for the chopper. <laughs> Direction TVs don't have pixels and stuff, but they're just kind of like going to the movie theater, so... Those were the best thing out before all this digital stuff came out. Yeah, I had a 57-inch projection TV. I'm playing uh, this game right now on a 70-inch TV. It's huge. He my whole TV set all at once. <laughs> Buy a TV set. Do a lot of research because some of the.